standing to receive the right words from Lord Mayor of Liverpool, Councillor Malcolm. No.
Okay. You should have in front of you in the agenda the minutes of the uh, last meeting. So can I ask our minutes of the annual city council? I would like to uh, ask you to turn to item six, page five, which was a statement by the elected mayor. Uh, I believe that this statement is uh, too brief for the purpose. Uh, the mayor includes. Councillor, councillor, I'm asking whether the minutes are approved first. Can, yeah. I, can we ask for the minutes? If there are any issues on the minutes, I'll, I'll call you. Okay, okay fine. Is it necessary at this moment? It's to correct the minutes. Right. Let's see. Page Let's see. Three. Right. So. Are the minutes of the council meeting agreed at this moment? Not. Councillor. Okay. Uh, thank you. First of all, I think we should all congratulate uh, Mr. Walsh on his rapid uh, rise to power through the hierarchy in the, uh, of the bureaucracy. Uh, the reason I want to raise item 6 on page 5 is that, as part of his statement, the Mayor made a very important announcement which I believe should be included for legal purposes in a minute, namely that we have received legal advice that declaring uh, someone to be suspended without prejudice was itself prejudicial. Now that needs to be, I believe, put in there because there's lots of evidence that this is ultra virus. There is a real difficulty. I've been well, trying well, to well, say well, we have well, seen well, this. We ask a question about um, approval or that. He's just made the statement that the uh, minutes of the meeting can be stated as ultra virus. No. Who and where has he got that information that that is the case? Because it simply isn't. He's grandstanding, he's performing, he's got no responsibility in terms of duty and care, and as far as I'm concerned, he needs to be told that. The, the issue, can, I, can I just say, Councillor Kent, the issue is whether the minutes are correct as this that You're saying something additional should be added to them. I think that could be stated more briefly than you have managed. Uh, so far, which you are making a speech about that. And we will get an answer and a response to that. So... Well, if, no? if I could just uh, complete, I will be extremely brief because I, I accept your, uh, your rules. Could I make it clear that I did not claim that the minutes of the meeting were ultra-virus? That would be total legal gibberish. But it's very important that this be put on record, the statement that they made, because there are legal implications for this. Okay, I'm not, I'm not taking anything from the floor. Councillor Ken, Councillor Ken, I will take advice on that matter. As far as I'm concerned, it's a matter of whether the minutes are correct. If the statement uh, was made, the statement was made, um, whether the, the, the details of that statement are in the minutes, is not, it's not usual, for, in my experience, and you've been longer on the council than I have, for statements to be actually in the minutes themselves. Um, the, the mayor is going to make another statement today, I'm sure, but I would not expect all of those words to be in the minutes as well. Um, I'll look, I'll check with uh, Chris here and, and Mike, but it's, it would not be in order for them to be there. All right, so that's my rule. I'm asking whether the minutes are correct. Um, Councillor Miller. Uh, just a quick thing. Um, the Lord Mayor, uh, the previous Lord Mayor, seems to have had a miraculous name change from page two to page three, but then I've been told from behind me that um, Councillor Ross Gladden might instead be Councillor Roshan Gladden. I didn't know that was her name. That, that's absolutely correct, and uh, I've probably known Ross a little bit longer than you, and I don't think that is correct. <laughs> Councillor Pendergast. Yes, Lord Mayor. Um, I contacted the Citizens Solicitor this morning about the item in the minutes. I was waiting for so I haven't received it. I've just been quiet off the committee of who says that a reply has been sent, so I need to see him about that reply and about the consultation that I have with that reply. 
So I don't want to bring it up to open at the moment, but I do say that there will be some questions raised over one of the items on the that later date. Okay. So I'm going to the minutes. Well, that being the last of the the comments, as far as I can see, can I move the minutes as a correct record? Can I form and report the election results as outlined in the agenda for the caretaker by election held on the 8th of June?